Inter-Pacific Asset Management yang berhad atau IPAM pada Sabtu melancarkan dana pelaburan Interpac Capital Preservation and Growth Fund ICPG Fund yang mensasarkan pelaburan patuh syariah di pasaran luar negara. Anak syarikat berjaya korporasi berhad itu turut mengumumkan bekas naik presiden kanan pelaburan Philip Capital Management Dato Dr Nazri Khan Adam Khan sebagai ketua pengurusan IPAM yang baru bagi menguruskan dana tersebut. Menurut Nazri, ia merupakan dana pertama di negara ini yang bakal memastikan modal pelabur terpelihara dari risiko kerugian. This is an opportunity for Malaysians to invest directly and indirectly through uh, Berjaya Business under the leadership of uh, Tan Sri Vincent Tan where the customers can have capital preservation and expected dividend of 4%. Right, every year which is paid semi-annually, two uh, percent the first six months, two percent next six months, plus upside. Okay, so this wholesale equity we are going to invest uh, in uh, listed and non-listed securities and deposits uh, inside Malaysia and outside Malaysia. All right, uh, and uh, we expect the return to be uh, good. So our focus will be mostly on USA blue chip stocks. This will be on US Sharia blue chip stocks uh, because we believe, as at this moment, uh, US stock market is the strongest, and there's a lot of demand for Sharia US stock in Malaysia. Taman Nazri menerusi pelantikan tersebut, pihaknya menyasarkan pulangan pelaburan sebanyak 30% secara kumulatif dalam tempoh tiga tahun. Perang dagangan antara mereka syarikat dan China juga dijangka menunjukkan keredaan pada tahun depan sekaligus memberikan impak positif kepada pasaran pelaburan. Uh, we think next year will be a great year for investment uh, because there are huge catalysts next next year, uh, especially outside Malaysia. Uh, number one, we need to understand that uh, uh, we expect the US and China trade war uh, to 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 cease fire, to reduce tension. Right? So this is going to be positive. Program yang dihadiri lebih 5,000 peserta itu dirasmikan pengurusi eksekutif berjaya Corporasi Berhad Tan Sri Vincent Tan. Sejak sebenar menang saham SMS di DNK dikenalkan, ia telah berjaya menarik lebih 30,000 penyertaan. Menurusi program tersebut, sebanyak 70,000 saham patuh syariah dalam pasaran global didedahkan kepada pelbagai lapisan masyarakat.